Today I am checking out this Geiger counter that was sent to me at no cost so I could do this review. This is basically a device that detects radiation. Anyways, let's go ahead and get this thing out of the box, see everything that it comes with, and then test this thing out. See what maybe even household items have high radiation. All right, so when you open the box and take everything out, this is what you're gonna have. So this is a USB-A to USB-C charging cable because the device itself does have a rechargeable battery in it. The cool thing is, is it's actually got a removable rechargeable battery. So if for some reason you did need to replace this, you could, but it does look like it's a lithium ion battery. So you're probably gonna be good with this for a really long time. It comes with this case with this uh, plastic, you know, transparent front. So you could actually use it while it's in the case comes with this little guide and the safety guy that says you know basically what's normal all the way up to you know extremely dangerous so cards here it comes with a quick start guide and then another quick start guide that just gives you information about real quickly how to use this this part here is more of a manual to go through different settings and, and how this thing operates so I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing charged all the way up I like to do that before I use anything. So while I'm charging it, I'm gonna read through these guides, make sure that I'm using this thing properly, and we're gonna test some stuff to see what around the house might have radiation. So it's now fully charged. I'm gonna go ahead and try out a few things around the house and see if we can detect any radiation. So first thing I'm gonna do is turn this on. You get that kind of cool noise coming on. So it does have different units of measurement that you can flip through here. And then if you press this, you can flip through just all kinds of different menus, different histories. That's clicks per second. I'm gonna go to clicks per minute. So we got, you know, eight clicks so far, just open air. But supposedly smoke detectors can emit some radiation, but I'm pretty sure they mean older ones. Most new things around the house are just not going to put off really much radiation at all. Let's see if we can go find some older stuff. So these aren't really old. I don't even really know what they are. It's really the oldest ceramics that we would really have in the house. And they're really not old enough either to have any kind of radiation. I mean, that's a good thing. I don't want radiation in the house, but they're not real old either. Let me go try some camera lenses. These are a couple of my oldest camera lenses. No, not really picking up anything out of them. Maybe there's something with the glass on these. No, not really. It's about as old as I have. Well, luckily, we're pretty much radiation free in our home. Again, you're gonna get some clicks per minute. That's pretty normal just in the ambient air. That's pretty much anywhere, I believe. But we don't really have anything here that's gonna put off more than you know what you're seeing right now. So. The good thing is, is that we don't have radiation around the house that I can detect, but I didn't have something good to show you on how crazy these things can spark off. Now this did get some really good ratings. I'm sure that it's going to work great if I find some radiation, but just don't have any here. I have heard if you go to like thrift shops or antique shops that you'll find radiation in all kinds of old things, especially early 1900s. They just used radioactive material in a lot of things so but right now nothing around the house that i could find i do come across crazy stuff sometimes and you never know i just want to make sure that it's safe to be around it and this is the tool to use all right well i hope this information was helpful thank you all very much for watching take care